Hi, I'm Rita. I'm a nurse here at the Best Outcomes Possible Hospital. Thanks for joining us today. Here at Best Outcomes Possible, our guiding philosophy is the quadruple aim, a four-point approach to better patient care. It includes better patient outcomes, increased patient satisfaction, reducing the overall cost of care, and of course, increased nurse satisfaction. We don't just believe in this approach, we have the data to show its success. And the secret is our clinical collaboration and communication solution from ASCOM. Today, I'm going to show you the visible and invisible technology that's helping our nurses take better care of our patients. While there are literally thousands of ways to use this groundbreaking technology, today, we'll focus in on a single experience, proactively identifying patients at risk of an adverse event. Look, I've received an alert on my ASCOM Myco 3 smartphone for a clinical notification, even though I'm not in the room with the patient right now. My patient, Mr. Crawley, has a high heart rate, so I'm going to accept the notification, which shows to all the other nurses that I'm taking responsibility for this patient. If I wasn't able to, this notification would go to my backup, and if my backup was busy, the alert would continue to forward to the subsequent plan of assigned nurses for alerts until someone responds to the notification. That way, no patient's alerts go unanswered. So now, I'm able to go into the Digistat screen on my device. Here I see the waveform, which shows the patient has tachycardia. In addition, I can also see he has a decreasing SpO2 and his respiration rate has increased significantly. I know that by looking at those measures, I likely have an event that cannot wait and I need to go into Mr. Crawley's room and check his other vitals right now. Hello, Mr. Crawley. How are you feeling? Not great. I'm tired, a little bit nauseous. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's quiet that alarm for you. Making sure the environment is free from noise makes a better experience for the patient and promotes healing. This supports a better patient experience, fitting into the goals of the quadruple aim. Now, I'm going to evaluate my patient and check all the vital signs again. At this point, his vital signs indicate a modified early warning score that suggests I call the rapid response team for further intervention. I want to make sure my charge nurse is aware. With one button, I'm able to make the call. Hi, Rita. Hi, Victoria. I'm here in patient 301's room, and I've done my evaluation. They're triggered on a modified early warning score. I believe we should bring in the rapid response team. Yeah, I'm looking at Smart Central here at the nurse's station. I see the alerts you're seeing on your handset. Based on them, the ASCOM predictive analytics engine is calculating a combined early warning score of five. This represents an elevated risk of an unplanned ICU admission if we don't act now on the patient's behalf. Go ahead and call the rapid response team. I've confirmed with my charge nurse that we're going to activate the rapid response team from the bedside. All of this is accomplished via the ASCOM solution right at the bedside in seconds. By making workflows smarter and more intuitive, we are freeing up nurses to do what they do best, take care of their patients while living up to the quadruple aim. And because our predictive care and early warning indicators were a success, Mr. Crawley was able to get back to his home, friends, and family with the best outcome possible. Let's check back in as we say goodbye. There you go. Mr. Crawley, I'm glad you're feeling better. Bet you're ready to go home. Oh yeah, but listen, I've had a really good experience here. I appreciate the excellent care and the friendly faces, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Crawley. It's been our pleasure. All right, bye. Bye-bye.